YouTube, how's it going guys? Today I have a different kind of video for you streamers, upcoming streamers that are beginning to uh, set up your channel and want to keep your audience engaged. So today we're going to be learning how to set up Cloudbot. Cloudbot. And what this does is basically an entertainment tool that keeps the audience engaged and is a very helpful tool for your stream and I definitely recommend you guys having it. So without further ado, let me take you guys on how to set up Cloudbot. So today we're going to focus on YouTube and learning how to set it up with YouTube. This tool also works with Twitch, so you guys can also integrate this Cloudbot with your Twitch channel. So to access Cloudbot, you actually have to go to Streamlabs. First of all, you got to sign in, make an account if you don't have so already. Once you are loaded in, it will take you to this. Generally, it'll take you to analytics. You want to go to this essentials tab and down here, there you go. You can see Cloudbot, click on that. Now from here, you want to make sure this is enabled because if it's turned off, it won't work with your stream. So make sure it's on. There you go. Just like that, you have activated it. But there's one more thing that's important here. You got to make sure the Cloudbot is actually tied in with your YouTube account. So you want to go to your YouTube studio here. So you want to go to settings, you want to go to community tab. Now I already have mine set up, but go ahead and grab the link and paste it in there. Once you've done that, make sure you save and exit out of there. And once you fire up your stream, you should be ready to go with the Cloudbot on. So now let's go back to Streamlabs and talk a little bit more about Cloudbot and what it does. Today I want to focus on modules, I want to focus on the queue and the loyalty and the store for now. You guys can check out the other ones and if you guys want to see a tutorial about the other ones let me know in the comments down below but today we're going to be focused on those four categories so to start off we're going to talk about modules the gamble mini game mostly because this single option is the most used like game in my stream i noticed that like a lot of people in my stream when they're either waiting for the queue or they're just watching and trying to have a fun time they just gamble in the chat it's like a little game that they can go ahead and earn some points which i'm going to be talking about that later so all you have to do to activate this just turn this little slider on when it's green it should be on for people that are watching your stream all they have to do is type exclamation point gamble space and the amount of points they want to gamble but i'll be showing you guys later on how to set that up so now we're going to talk about gamble preferences so the, for the loyalty the minimum amount is 10 and the max amount that people could gamble in my stream, I set it to 50,000. You guys can uh, change this, both values. You can change it to whatever you're, you guys want, but I keep mine at 50,000. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So now moving on to reward multipliers. This is uh, basically a list, one through 100 and different like numbers. And whenever like they gamble, it's, it's gonna tell you on the stream, like that person rolled this number and whatever. So this is what this comes in. So if they, you choose like if you want to reward the person on whichever number they rolled. So let's say uh, the one person that gambled rolled and uh, landed on the number 1 through 25. And you set this value to 0. That means they lost and they won't get like rewarded from that. So you guys can obviously change that to your personal preference. You could put 0 on 99 to 100 or raise the, the multiplier point so yeah that's pretty much what this means and then once you're done with this you go ahead and save settings and uh, honestly that's pretty much the only option i use there's other ones but i don't see them being used as much in my stream so i could definitely recommend this single gamble mini game guys so yeah now let's move on to the queue if you want to have a queue for viewers and subs that want to hop in and play and get some games in with you i'm going to be showing you how to make that uh, you're going to go ahead and put open queue you're going to put the title obviously i play a lot of rebirth so i put rebirth island queue but you can name it whatever you guys want or depending on the game you're playing and uh, you can put the size of the queue so i put 20 that means like uh, a total of 20 people can join so for the pick message i leave it at default because it's actually helpful it says next up and uh, whoever is on the queue so for whoever puts exclamation point join in the chat during the live stream they're gonna be automatically put into this queue and they're gonna show up right here where it says pending users and you generally have the option to like move them over with the arrow and they're gonna be moved over to the queue users and that's when the message is gonna come out saying uh next up uh username whatever whatever the person's name is so that's what that means so yeah that's pretty much it for queues 
all right guys so moving on to loyalty we're gonna go to the settings tab this is the currency or point system like i was talking about before when we were talking about the gambling minigame so to have this on your stream you have to uh, make sure you have it on the enabled so the loyalty uh, name is basically the name for your currency that you want to have on your stream so you can go ahead and change that if you want or just leave it like that if you'd like to so moving on to points per interval in minutes so this is the amount of time between each payout which is uh five minutes for me so payout to live users would be 100 payout to active users this is for the people that are chatting in your stream so for mine i have it at thousand like i said all of this is personal preference so you guys can go ahead and change and decide what you want to reward your viewers or subs with the point system so yeah that's pretty much it for the point system if you guys are done again go ahead and save settings and you should be done so moving on to the last one the loyalty store again this all ties up with the loyalty points so if they have a certain amount of points they can go ahead to this uh store buy whichever sound effect they want to uh be shown in the stream just like this so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how to set that up so i already have like eight sound effects set up and i'm gonna be showing you how to make a new one so let's go over how to create one of these so to do that you're gonna create new item it's gonna show you this but uh let me show you an example already with one made so to do one of those effects you want to go to uh sound effect obviously name it you're gonna put the cost of it the quantity uh the global countdown or oh, the user countdown now i really don't change these three i leave it by default all i really change is the cost to whatever points or value you guys want it to be so you guys decide on that and then you put next so for thumbnail image you want to go ahead and click on pick you want to get a gif from google you just go on google and type in gif download that gif to your computer and then make sure you pick it in here once that's selected now you gotta choose the sound file so yeah guys once you select the sound file you guys are done and then moving on to the little slider there that basically means adjusting the volume of the sound effect whatever you want it to be so that's your own personal preference now this option right here it says uh, redeem via chat so it's like a shortcut way of uh, redeeming the different sound effects in the live stream chat so that your viewers or subs go ahead and uh, put exclamation point redeem space and the name you set it to be and then that way automatically it will display on the stream all right so if you guys wanted to show up in your stream you actually have to go to obs and set it up that way you could show from streamlabs so you actually go to the sources you click on the plus icon right there go to browser source name it i'm gonna name it cloudbot nodi press ok once you're done it's gonna ask you for a url you're gonna get this url from streamlabs you go to where it says alert box under uh, cloudbot redemption right here it's a uh, blurred out widget url you go ahead and copy this and it's gonna say widget url has been copied you grab it and then you paste it and then press ok and you decide where you want to place it at so it shows up in your stream and that's basically it so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this if you guys enjoy and uh, find this video helpful make sure to smash that like button as always subscribe if you guys are new around here hit that notification bell i do stream on youtube 9 p.m eastern time so make sure to catch me there if you have any questions and yeah guys see you guys in the next time hit him with another one family